thank you. I'd like to call up uh, Minister Sherelle Witherspoon, and I want to only say one thing, you know, she's not always up here, just like myself on the mic, but actually, people should know this, because I can now say the statute of limitations have passed, but it was Sister Sherelle that led the shutdown of 83, the effective shutdown where we shut it down for literally four hours. In fact, it's all the news media. And this was like the first time they did that. And when um, Bats was commissioner, he said that would never happen again. So every time we run around trying to demonstrate, they tried it. The police ended up closing 83 themselves. So, but actually was, we had been sitting in front of the, um, laying in front of the police station. This was earlier on in the Black Lives Matter movement. And Sherelle just said, let's go. And you know, she led us over there. So she She's really our, one of our, our, our strategic street captains who, along with a couple other people, uh, Stephen Cece, who's not here, had to be at work. So I want to call her up. I also want to let people know we won't go on and on the mic. We will have an open mic part. Uh, there are two brothers, one who is with uh, Fist. A, a youth and the other person uh, even though I'm sure that you want to hear from him is Cody who was out at Standing Rock. He got back he went on a trip with Monica Moorhead and Lamont <laughs> Lily. So anyhow she um, It is our duty to fight for our freedom It is our duty to fight for our freedom It is our duty to win It is our duty to win We must love each other and support one another We must love each other and support one another I just want to say um, it's an honor to be part of the movement. I joined the movement three years ago. I was afraid at one point because we was coming against the police and against police brutality, but it was an itching in my spirit who told me that fighting for injustice that happened to my community is the right thing to do. So as soon as I walked across the stage with my accounting degree from Copper State University, I joined arms with the comrades here in Baltimore City. I had two nephews at the time who were young and only thing I could imagine is for one of them to be assassinated by the police who's supposed to protect and serve. And as I keep coming out of here, I realize that the police is only trying to protect and serve these buildings right. and not the people that live here in Baltimore. That's right. I have been to Alabama and I have walked across the Edda Pettis Bridge right. and I've seen the spirit of my ancestors being tossed over that bridge for fighting for justice and for fighting for our right to vote as human beings here in the United States of America. It is heart-wrenching to keep turning on my television and hear about the mass assassination of color people yeah. just because we are born a certain color. Yeah. Yeah. But what I've realized is not that our color that they're afraid of. It's the spirit that we have inside of each and every last one of us. Yeah. That if we come together, as Malcolm say, we are stronger together than when we are divided. Yeah. Yeah. The system has set up all different type of divisive situations to come against black and white. But Dr. King said, just because you're not my skin don't make you my kin. Yeah. I believe that a house divided amongst itself will not stand. Yeah. So even though your skin might be a little lighter than mine, our minds are focused on the right thing. And that's the fight, the injustices that happen across the United States of America. Yeah. Yeah. I've been down to Alabama again. I did a freedom ride with Reverend Barber and I saw him do the more Mondays. And that's why I came back here in Baltimore and I helped Miss Tawanda come up with the idea for West Wednesday. And I just want to say, she has been doing an awesome job with her commitment and persistent to be out here advocating for the injustice that happened to her brother Tyrone. Yeah. We have to not get tired in fighting. Yeah. The race is not given to the swift or the strong, yeah. but those who endure it to the end. Yeah. We are on the right side of justice. Yeah. We are history makers and change agents for our community. Yeah. And I just want to say, keep up the fight. The struggle is real. And no longer will the United States be able to hide under a flag and try to get us a pledge allegiance to a flag where people are being assassinated across the United States of America. So I pledge allegiance to my higher power, who is Jesus Christ, and he had put something awesome in me so that I could be out here fighting for injustice like Jesus was. He was the first one who fought about the injustice that happened. So 
We have to be more like Christ. Keep fighting. Keep turning over the tables and money changers. Because this capitalistic society will not last much longer. And we keep fighting and say, H no to all the injustice that happened in our community. So I just want to say, we are stronger together than we are alone. And this is what democracy looks like. Y'all keep holding up the bloodstained banner for Jesus Christ and for whoever you serve and know that you're on the right side of history. That's right.